Hi there, I'm Tara from Wild Bird Farm. I garden here in Iowa in Zone 5. Today we are going to talk about five easy annuals you can get seeds readily for that you can direct sow in your garden to have beautiful color in your landscape all season and to cut from to bring in bouquets inside. Please join me. Is anyone else getting the itch to get out in the soil? Well, here in zone five, we are about three weeks out from our last frost. So the annuals I'm talking about today love warm soil and warm temperatures. So while we may be a couple of weeks early to actually get them planted, we can definitely be planning and ordering or picking up seeds for the season. As you're selecting seeds, keep in mind what you will use the plants for. If you'd like to cut off of them to bring inside your home, I would look for stem links that are at least 18 inches, but 24 to 36 is even better. If you're planning to use your flowering plants in the landscape, then determine if they will be in the front of your beds where you might want six inch plants, or if you're planning to put them deeper into the bed where those longer stems might work for the back of the landscape, as well as cutting to bring in for cut flowers. Definitely don't overthink it. And if you're really interested in setting up a cutting garden for yourself, even a three by 10 foot space is going to allow you to have a lot of cut flowers throughout the summer season. When picking out these annuals, I wanted to pick plants that could be easily started by seed. I also wanted to pick varieties that were relatively easy to direct sow. First up is sunflowers, and who doesn't love a sunflower? They come in all colors. I like to start with the lighter whites and move through the season from yellows, oranges, to the deeper pinks, purples, and burgundies. There are two types of sunflowers, single stem and branching. Single stem is going to give you one flower, while branching will give you multiple flowers throughout the season. I suggest planting both types and seeing which you prefer. Sunflowers are easy to direct sow, meaning you just push them into the ground about an inch once your soil warms. Pollinators also love them. Next up is zinnias, also known as zinnias. They come in almost every color imaginable and have big puffy blooms. A couple of my favorite varieties are Benary's Giants and the Queen Lime series. Similar to sunflowers, zinnias are easy to start from seed, just pushing them into the soil about a half an inch after your soil warms in the spring. Zinnias can also be started indoors with good grow lights to get a head start on the season. In our area, Japanese beetles, a common garden pest, love zinnias. Keep this in mind and maybe save a couple seeds to re-sow throughout the season if yours is long enough. Cosmos are next, and similar to zinnias and sunflowers, they are easily direct sown and I've found actually grow stronger when grown directly in the soil. There are lots of varieties available. I like the whites, these double pink cupcakes are also sweet. One great thing about Cosmos is you can use the foliage as a bouquet filler even before the flowers form. Harvest your Cosmos right when the buds begin to crack open before they are fully open for the best face life. Next up is Celosia, also known as Celosia, and I can't believe I don't have more pictures of this garden staple. Bright, vibrant spikes fill the garden in the summertime. There are lots of varieties of Celosia, and I would encourage you to try out several and see which forms you like best. 
While I would recommend starting celosia seeds indoors, they can be direct sown. This is also a flower that dries really well for crafts and other creative ideas. Rounding out the top five is marigolds, and these definitely aren't your grandmother's marigolds. There are so many new varieties on the market, not only orange, but yellows and creams and whites. Again, these love being direct sowed once the soil has warmed. There are different types, so if you're looking for ones for cutting, you'll want to make sure they have long stems. Otherwise, there are lots of bedding varieties for your landscape and to also work in for pest management in your vegetable garden. Definitely check out and try a few varieties this year. As a bonus, if you'd like to try drying some flowers, marigolds, sunflowers, and celosia dry wonderfully. I love topping my pumpkins with them in the fall. That rounds out my top five easy warm summer annuals you can direct sow to have beautiful blooms to bring in for bouquets and to enjoy in your landscape. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.